G'day Marvel Future Fight Gamers, Vader G here, welcome back to the channel. A bit of breaking news, we've got a uh, sneak peek come through uh, upon opening the game. Um, it's Corvus Glaive's uh, weapon here. Uh, we might just drill into it and have a bit of a quick look because it looks like we've got a Black Order uh, update incoming. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see what sort of content that delivers. Let's have a quick look at this sneak peek. Yeah, so pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, you can clearly see uh, that Corvus's weapon lands on Earth. There's actually a snapshot, which I'll put on screen now, which actually shows Corvus very clearly. And it looks like we're going to get a Black Order update. Now, these guys have been left in the dust for the longest time, right? Particularly Supergiant. I mean, far out. Have, has there been a more neglected character than Supergiant in the game? Um, but very, what, what could happen here? I mean, we've got native tier twos. Could they get their awaken skill? Uh, they're already, you know, Proxima's probably the pick of the bunch, obviously besides uh, Thanos. Uh, Proxima's the pick of the bunch uh, currently. But if they get an awaken skill, then, you know, they could be, they could become relevant in the game again. They could become a lot more versatile. What's more, I mean, so... And I have seen a couple of comments on the forum about uh, Heller as well. And I started thinking, you know, how does Heller actually fit in uh, with the Black Order? There is a, uh, there is a, a, a bit of a story storyline in Marvel where um, Heller actually recruits the Black Order. So after Thanos' death or Thanos, Thanos' death, she recruits the Black Order to actually recover Thanos' body to try and actually resurrect him. Um, and that's quite a prominent, like, it's quite a decent storyline that goes on there. Uh, they end up coming unstuck. They get, you know, whole, come across uh, Gladiator, Beta Ray Bill, Nova, Captain Marvel, um, all that sort of stuff, right? But it, but it's definitely there. It's definitely has potential for Hella to be involved in this update. Uh, but probably more exciting and maybe more exciting for everyone in the game could be, will Supergiant get some love? Will she, I mean, I've had a look through bunches of images. I'm not sure if anywhere there is a different uniform or, or a different look for Supergiant. So I'd be interested uh, to actually know that sort of, that, that level of detail if there is something else. But in regards to World Boss, I mean, you know, these guys are pretty, once, you, once you've been in the game for a bit, you build up your characters, and they're obviously still, a, you know, a major challenge uh, to new players uh, for World Boss, for, for all this side over here. Uh, these guys, um, but why is she? You know, why hasn't she been unlocked to date? That's what I want to know. Why? Had, why hasn't she been giving a war boss ultimate? Uh, it'd be really nice to actually see uh, a war boss ultimate. Not only that, I think her reward uh, is actually uh, well. We're not seeing it there. Yeah, it's actually the double energy attack Odin's blessings at conquer level 20, 40, and sixty. I mean. I'm not sure if that will stay in the game. They, they like to protect these things um, very rigorously. But, you know, it would be really cool to, to see, you know, potentially a World Boss Legend or even these guys in addition to World Boss Ultimate to actually get a World Boss Legend level uh, associated with them. But more so, I'd really like, I'd really like her to be unlocked. Uh, super giant. Uh, you know, and whether those you know, Odin's Blessings stay there like that or not, I don't really give a shit. But... You know, just to see these characters who are like, you know, they're pretty well, been pretty well obsolete. They're pretty well useless for a lot of modes. I mean, Proxima, I think I've got an insight on her for one of the, um, for one of the villain, the female villain days as lead. It must be on uh, the Dodge season. So whichever one that is, um, you know, but, you know, she's, she's pretty well built. Otherwise, I guess, you know, semi-awakened ISO set used to be fully awakened. I think I stripped them off her. Um, Corvus, much the same. What did I do there? Just jumped out of that. I think I got close enough to a fully awakened ISO set on him as well. I mean, these guys used to be Alliance Battle Extreme Meta. Corvus Glaive used to be Alliance Battle Extreme Meta. You used to be able to score better with this guy than what you used to be able to score with Thanos. Believe it or not, he used to be Universal Villain Meta. Even before him, she used to be Universal... She used to be Universal... Uh, villain meta as well. No shit. Absolutely no kidding. She used to be universal villain meta. You used to run around, you used to pop her three skill, uh, which gives that buff. You used to pop her five skill on the mobs and the beast together, and it gave a massive uh, area, of, area of effect attack. And she used to be the bomb uh, for Alliance Balak Strand. This is way back, way back when, right? So, anyway, I suppose probably a little bit of a history lesson. But, anyhow, in this video, 
Um, I'm kind of hyped. I'm kind of excited. I'm, I'm kind of excited. Will they bring this guy back? Will they bring him back into the meta? I mean, he's he's hasn't been out for too long when you think about it. He hasn't been out of the meta. I've still got him pretty well built. I stripped his Odin's Blessings off him, but he's pretty well built still. Will he come back? Will this be a massive uh, Black Antimatter and Chaos Nornstone draining uh, update? You know, because, God, we've been accruing these things and not really using too many of them either. Uh, for a long time, what about, you know, 81,000 Chaos Nornstones, 158,000 Black Antimatter. I'm not trying to save that stuff. We just had really no way to spend it on. So guys, let me know uh, what, what would you like to see in this update. Uh, so to go into the chance, uh, go into the draw to win one of 300 Crystal Vouchers, all I want you to do, comment on this video, what would you like to see in this, what looks like, Black Order update. That's it. Simple as that. Leave your line ID, email address, and you'll go in the draw. And over the next week or so, uh, we'll announce the winners. Uh, let me know. I'm really curious to think what everyone's thinking, though, with this update. Uh, will we see some of these characters uh, reinvigorated, brought back into some sort of relevance within the game? And will we finally see Super Giants, World Boss Ultimate, or potentially World Boss Legend level, unlocked? Is that what's going to happen? Is that what's going to happen, guys? And who's going to get the Tier 3? Will she get a Tier 3? Um, could it be Hella that gets a Tier 3? Could it be one of these other these other crowds that gets a Tier 3? Who's going to get the Awakened skills? I don't know. It's pretty cool. They're all villains. It's up my alley. Um, I'm interested to see what you guys think. Uh, and yeah, let me know. Line ID or email address. Just comment. And um, thanks, guys.